The next feature we'll discuss is really my favorite thing that our solution does. It's called screenshot verification. Because we don't have a long drawn out process to virtualize these days, we can do that in a matter of seconds because of inverse chain technology, we've built in automated backup and virtualization verification. It's automated virtualization. So each morning here at 6 a.m., there's a backup that's requested for my workstation in these two servers. That backup is subsequently virtualized in the background on the appliance, disconnected from the network, to show us that we have a bootable image. Success is recognized as a login screen, login screen, login screen. And that's exactly what we're looking for. This is something that can be emailed to an end user very simply. You determine who is getting that verification report and also remotely monitored through the partner portal. Very quickly come here and see that everything's on the up and up. And let's talk about the importance of knowing that we have a bootable image. This is saying to us that we really have nothing to worry about. If this system crashes locally, there's no question we can get it up on running on the appliance from at least this point in time. And where I'm running it every 24 hours currently, it's a process that can run every single hour if necessary. It's also very easy to ensure that that verified backup exists in the data center. You determine how frequently the backups are replicating off-site. That's one way that the system is efficient at sending data to the cloud. We'll talk about that more in a moment. Now, we still haven't covered why screenshotting is my favorite feature. Recognizing success is important, of course, but for me, recognizing failure proactively is so much more important. Think about this in terms of traditional backup. When would we find out some something was corrupted. When we're doing a full restore of a system when it's way too late. With our Cirrus appliance, if anything were wrong, let's say this was a non-bootable image, it was a blue screen, a startup repair screen, or some sort of a boot error, the system will proactively recognize that <clears throat> in line as we're backing up. And of course notify you. If there were screenshot failure, there would be a red X here, all sorts of notification, as well as an email that comes through and don't panic. Remember that we have a completely independent chain of backup, so while we have some troubleshooting to do, it really doesn't matter if a backup fails or if a screenshot fails with our solution. Sure, you'll have to figure out what happened to the host system or perhaps the virtual software on our appliance, but once you've done your troubleshooting and recorded the next backup and tested that you can virtualize from here, we can request a screenshot manually or that can be spun up through the restore tab at that point in time, and as soon as you verify that this is a bootable image, you can delete the corrupted point in time without affecting the entire data set. This is the benefit of being completely independent. When we delete, we can still restore data from any point above or below that point of deletion. So not having to worry about a broken backup chain, of course, invaluable, especially considering how dangerous it used to be with an incremental chain.